The cast of Elite has been an absolute treat to watch, but just so you know, not all of them are coming back for season 6. Viewers need to be prepared for some major changes at Las Encinas because some of their favourite characters might not be in the new season of Elite. The sixth season of the show is set to be released in November and is going to be all about the issues of domestic violence, gender discrimination and homophobia. Also, things are going to get particularly steamy on the show while someone will lose their life by the end of season 6. However, certain main leads from the original original elite cast will not be part of all this drama. Interestingly, Samuel, played by Itzan Escamilla, is one of the last two members of the original cast. And by the looks of it, he's definitely not returning for season 6. The storyline of Samuel is pretty much wrapped up as we saw him unconscious in the last scenes of season 5. Though there wasn't a body bag in the scene, Samuel sure didn't make it out alive. Although things were still a little iffy, because in the last scene of season 5, Samuel took a deep breath after being unconscious. It means after Benjamin knocked him out, he was still conscious but soon fell back, and that ended the fifth season on a cliffhanger. However, Netflix cleared all the rumors by releasing the official synopsis of the show that said, After Samuel's passing, Las Encinas faces a new school year trying to have a facelift by covering up disasters of the past. It's pretty clear now that Samuel's character isn't alive anymore, and it's an Escamilia is leaving Elite after being on the show for five seasons. He actually is one of the most beloved characters on the show. It's an himself confirmed that he'll be leaving the show in his Instagram post, where he shared a picture of his uniform with a heart in the caption. Netflix announced that Samuel won't be a part of Elite anymore, with a post captioned, How we met him and how we said goodbye, Samuel. The end of Samuel's character is going to completely change the show, because for the last five seasons, we saw the show revolving mainly around him. It's going to have an impact on the other characters, but that might not be necessary to drive the plot forward. In other news, we won't be seeing the iconic character of Rebecca, played by Claudia Salas, in the new season. She posted on her Instagram that she's very thankful for everyone who gave so much love to Rebecca, with a K, and she added that five was always her favourite number. So this makes it pretty clear that she's not coming back for the sixth season. Plus, she's also absent from the official trailer of the show, but fans aren't really happy about it. By the end of season 5, Rebecca kind of ended things with Mencia after she got fed up of trying to keep up the relationship. But the fans were still hoping for them to get back together in season 6. The will-they-won't-they they situation continued till the very end, but Rebecca decided to prioritize herself over anything else. Rebecca even opened a nail salon, which opened up a whole new horizon of opportunities for her. Also, the chances of the two getting back together are quite slim, as Claudia Salas won't be coming back as Rebecca in season 6. Apart from Rebecca, Kayatana, played by Georgia Amaros, won't be making it to Elite Season 6. Although there hasn't been an official announcement of her farewell, her storyline kind of ended organically in Season 5. In Season 5, Kayatana got fired from the school and she even left her love affair with Philippe in the past. Kay decided to move on and got engaged to Felipe after they decided to leave the region for good. It was only fair that Kayatana got a happy ending in the show after all the things that she had been through. Some fans were hoping that she would be the next person to lose her life, but before that happened, the school fired her and she flew away. Some people were even saying that Omar, played by Omar Ayuso, wouldn't be a part of the new season. However, according to the show's official Instagram handle, he will not only work in the sixth season, but he's also a part of Elite 7. We also didn't get to see Itzan Escamilia, Claudia Salas and Georgina Amoros in the press release by Netflix, so it's confirmed by now that these three have left the show and are moving on with new projects. But there are certain members from Season 5 who have stayed and are now coming back in Season 6. For instance, Andre Lamoglia will reprise his role as Ivan. He is most likely to deal with the issues between him and his dad. Plus, his love life will take a turn for the worse as he got to know in the fifth season that Patrick had a thing for Ivan's father. This might put a dent on expectations of fans who want to see Ivan and Patrick together. And on the subject of Patrick, Manu Rios has also returned to the show for the sixth season. The two characters will mostly spend their time trying to sort out their mutual issues and get over the past. And the newly found body of Samuel isn't going to make things any easier for them. Valentina Zanera will also be coming back in her role as Isadora, and Carla Diaz is coming back as Ari. It is possible that the two, along with their colleagues, decide to take matters into their own hands and solve the mystery of what's exactly wrong with this school. The school administration would again try to cover up the scandal of how Samuel lost his life. However, things might get out of hand this 
this time. Ari spent a lot of time with Samuel in the last season, and the two had a full-blown affair in which they made out in classrooms. So now that Samuel isn't alive anymore, Ari will have a hard time keeping up with everything going on around her. She will be devastated, and is going to have a very hard time moving on and mourning Samuel. A very important plotline for the sixth season will be Isadora and her traumatic experience after some boys forced themselves on her in the last season. Even though she filed an official complaint, the aftermath of that incident is going to leave a mark. We might even see her struggling with her mental health in the new season. She had Philippe by her side, and that's why she pretended to be composed, but Isadora is most likely to lose her cool in the new season. Also, all that she's been through, a mental breakdown might be on the way. Martina Caridi as Manassia will be returning, and it would be interesting to see how she tries to fit into the shoes of her dad. Manassia will put everything at stake in the last season, just so she could impress her father. Things even got sore between her and Rebecca because of her father. So it will be very interesting to see how Manassia copes with the loss of Rebecca, and whether or not she finds the right person for her in the new season. There's a possibility that she ends up regretting the way she behaved with Rebecca and gives a shut-up call to her father, though it's still not clear who she's gonna date now that Rebecca is definitely not coming back. If the past is any indication, Manassia will obey her father and go out with someone who suits her status and who would make her look good in front of her father, although her romance can possibly start with a new character in the sixth season too. In addition, Bilal, played by Adam Naru, is also going to make a comeback in season six. Even though he was a loved character when season five started, he kind of disappeared in in the background by the end of the season. Fans weren't happy with how his storyline was pretty much wasted in the last season. However, we're definitely going to see Bilal in Elite Six, and this time the creators have something special in mind for him, and that might be the reason why he's being given so much importance in the trailer. Carlotto Cotta will also be returning to the show as Cruz. He's going to try his best to keep Ivan and Patrick apart because he wants his son to be with a girl. He might even try to set up Ivan with Ari again. And since Ari lost Samuel in the last season, and we might even see her go out with Ivan just because of Cruz's pressure. But we all know that Patrick and Ivan might be the end game if both of them stay alive by the end of season six. Apart from their individual plot lines, the cast members are eventually going to come together and try to find out who exactly is behind all of this drama in the school. This year in school isn't going to be easy for them either, as a new principal will also be appointed, which will open doors to new mysteries. But one thing is very clear, that by the end of the sixth season, one of the characters will again lose their life, and will have to wait for the seventh season Season. There were supposed to be six seasons of the show, and it would have ended at season six with a proper closure by solving the mysteries of all the departed souls of the school. However, Elite is finally renewed for season seven, so by the time you're done watching the sixth season, the seventh one would also be in the production phase, which is very exciting. The only thing that is heartbreaking is how we might never see Samuel on our screen in the new season, as he bade farewell to the show. So, who do you think is going to lose his life in season six of Elite? Tell us in the comment section below. Take care and thanks for watching.